Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. This is Brittany Bond. We are doing a little heads up about things that are happening in this podcast. It was so epic that we need to do a little before, a forward, an introduction. Uh, so this is Brittany Bond and my very handsome counterpart, Ferdy Beck. Hello. Um, so I want to talk about the fact that if you are watching this on YouTube... I am looking very bloated, as in my stomach is sticking out hardcore, and I think this is such an epic thing to share about because, you know, I was on my period, and I wasn't feeling well, and I still wanted to download some information to y'all, and I am super excited to come as I am in all of my parts, and now I'm like, ooh, I'm not bloated anymore. I feel really good in my body. Yay! But that doesn't mean that I can't share this with you and also have it be an example to everyone that it doesn't matter what you look like or how you're feeling in that moment, you get to show up as you are and are super welcome and loved and worthy of all the amazing things. So if you see it in the video, you know what's up. You know what's up. And now it's my turn. And I, like, ask her, like, she wouldn't even done this uh, because she's so, she's, like, we're so real that she's like, I, I don't even care. And I'm like... No, this is nice for people to let them know, like. Well, as in, I was like, just post it. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's like it's nice to talk about it, um, that you know, like, start living, start living. I did daily vlogs for a year, and I just vlogged myself every single day for 365 days. Circumstances don't matter. No matter if I had a big pimple or was bloated or how I looked or da da da. I was sh and I wasn't faking anything. I was just keeping it real. Like this is me on this day, and it's my highest excitement to daily vlog. And circumstances don't matter. I'm here. Hi, I'm out here. I'm vibing, and we're all human. And let's make it relatable by being fucking real. And now it's time for my uh, heads up before <laughs> the podcast starts. Okay, the episode where Britain and I are eye locking not like right now right now i look in the youtube in my phone i'm talking to you and like when i'm eye locking to her i speak to her on this frequency and so often i skip words and i'm just saying like you know and when i listened to the podcast yesterday and then as the observer and hearing like you know like i know what i know but many people i'm like ah i lose so many people here like they have they don't know they're like no i don't know but to Brittany, I don't want to explain. Okay, now I talk for 15 minutes explaining this structure, mechanism of reality. Also, this is what we talk about all day long. Yeah, and we got to this level where like, we know. We don't need to explain to each other many things. We can talk above this frequency of this. Un like We have this understanding of the universal message and we can share our experience on top of that. And this is so amazing and juicy and I want to keep sharing that. And I... Gives you know this disclaimer of we keep doing that when we do the podcast together. It's just like listen to it and see if you can catch the vibe. And I just skip words and often say, you know, and I know how many people can misunderstand that because I don't explain it. I could talk now for 15 minutes, but then still many people wouldn't. So I don't even start. I just want to look in her eyes and just vibe and flow and do, 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 do. But yeah, this is when we do podcasts together. When we do solo episodes, then it's like we're full on in channeling state and I don't skip words and I'm not saying, you know, I, I elaborate and she elaborates. So just saying, see if you can handle us together. And if this is hardly making any sense and doesn't resonate, then listen to our solo episodes on my podcast, Vegan's podcast and her podcast. You're already on Britney Bond and watch visually right now because this lighting is making Britney look so alien. I'm an alien. The Pleiadian side of Britney is shining so through, like, whoa, what's okay. going on? Are you guys ready to listen? Are you ready to listen? Are you, are you guys epic ready? episode. Three, two, two one. Blast <laughs> off. Hi, everyone. This is Britney Bond. Welcome back to the podcast. I am so excited to have a very special guest on the podcast today. He is what some may call my twin flame, the love of my life. His name is Ferdinand Beck, but I like to call him Ferdy. And I'm so happy to have you, babe. I don't have any set agenda, but I just, wh whatever comes up, I think is what we should talk about. How are you? How are you feeling in your body? 
First of all, thank you for having me <laughs> on your podcast. Ooh. <laughs> Using my podcast equipment. <laughs> It's ours. <laughs> It's all ours. Um, I feel um, I feel really good. I feel really good. Like today, mm. I was like, whoop. And then I didn't go to the gym. And then I laid down. And then I had a nap. Like I listened to my body. And mm. then my body rewards me. Mm. And then we just made some beautiful love. Baby. And now I'm feeling extra juicy and <laughs> a bit getting like a bit hungry and we ordered some food mm -hmm. which is being make made and on the way. So Life it's is all amazing. yeah, it's so beautiful. And it's just this this level we're on, it's so amazing. Like I wanna be here for all of it and I wanna be present because mm -hmm. it's this level of this beautiful, like the most beautiful L S D M D M A trip. Where you're like, I don't want this to end, and it's it's not ending. Like I'm here for it, and if if sometimes like whoa, this gets overwhelming, then like I like it's it's all me because mm -hmm. I can I can like then keep these thoughts, but I'm like no, this is this is this the, because I listen to my body. I could I could do it in a way where like I keep listening to certain things or doing certain things, and I'm like no no, this is too much for today. For, like I keep listening to my body. And that feels good all the way, and it does. Like we got so the hang of it, um, you know. Like when we got together, I was like, dish, 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 like an hour or so, and it's like, let's wake up even more. And you're like, whoa, it's about how we feel in our bodies. I'm like, hey, and yeah. So I want to share with people that first off, a shout out to you for thank you for helping me get my podcast started from the very beginning. You helped me sort out all of the equipment and order it to your house and. And I think even from the first and second, I think the second episode I did, you like called spontaneously and I answered the phone and put you on my podcast. So thank you for helping me get my voice out there. You're I welcome. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to check this angle. but Yeah. Sorry. And one thing I, I really want to share with everyone is how much like we didn't really realize it until we got together, but we are like perfectly two pieces of the same puzzle. <laughs> if the puzzle has two pieces you know <laughs> what I mean? like oh, where is it from i have heard that somewhere yeah we heard it together somewhere yeah. and then you already predicted this and then they said it's like yeah. when i watch movies with yeah, Brittany, yeah, yeah. she's saying things and in the next seconds they are saying things yeah it's like i can tap into what the person's mm -hmm. about to say and you channeling. always predict the ending and i'm like thank you for spoiling it <laughs> you're like but i don't even watch it but i'm like you are just accurate i know yeah um What we realized when we first got together was, or I guess in the evolving process of us being together, is that you are very, very awake. Um, and it's interesting, though, for me, I like to look at all these things from a spiritual standpoint and from um, like a masculine standpoint, like you're very awake and I'm f like the feminine. So the awake, we were looking at this uh, drawing the other day Or t was it today? I don't even know what time is. Time is anymore. But today, I think you were sending me this thing on Instagram mm -hmm. where it's like the guy was like the spirit world and then the woman was the earth. So the earth, so me, I'm like more in my body. I'm very grounded and just feeling everything. And then they were like merging together and making something really beautiful. You're the earth and I am heaven. And mm -hmm. together we bring heaven down to earth. Yeah. So that was the concept. And I really feel that that's something that we both have I don't want to say helped each other because I think we were going to get there eventually but now that we've merged our timelines I feel that the growth of our consciousness is just exponentially going and to a point where both of us are like at different parts of the journey like oh I would really like it to slow down because it feels like a psychedelic trip that's just never stopping um And I, I didn't really realize this because um, the awake part is something I've always, I've always been so grounded, like in the earth and in my feelings and my emotions. And then I've always wanted to wake up a little bit more. So I was taking like high amounts of psychedelics and going on all these journeys by myself or, you know, taking DMT or ayahuasca. And then when I got with you, like sober, like sometimes I'm like, okay, I am understanding the structure of reality a little too much right now for my body to like feel good in my body. Like it's just like this 
Eddie syndrome, I yeah. call it. Yeah. And, but it feels in my body like that moment when you're about to blast off on DMT and like lose control or like go out of your body or like you to like to call it peace out. And you're the first one in my reality who can who can actually handle me because with past people, my excitement was then often, okay, now Ferdi's like I wasn't excited to be with them. And part of it mm. is not that I'm not growing here or anything it's also i don't wanna that they that they wake up too fast that they cannot hold it in their body like you actually had friends go into psychosis because of this yes so i'm really careful yeah. with my power of waking people up and like these flow state retreats i was like oh shit i'm waking people up so much when they're mm -hmm. just being around me because they keep asking questions and i just channel from the universe blah, 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 and then like mm -hmm. whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. and it's all about like embodying that and um so well, i want to ask you how is it for you <laughs> so on the flip side so i'm very grounded in my emotions and like the the depth of my emotions and my emotional reality is very like you know all over the place sometimes how is it for you to be around me who's very grounded but very emotional how is it you can tell them <laughs> yeah it's uh <laughs> It's it's a perfect match and it's it's a lot and I, I like a lot. I it's 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 a perfect match yeah, that be real, how yes. was it for you in the gym yesterday? Yes. But it's a perfect um wait, I wanted to say something Sorry. earlier but I just let it go. Um Um Okay. Um what were we just talking about? Uh, that we're a perfect match in in like I love your groundedness because I get people you know to this place where they're like whoa and then they are uncrowned and then I reflect that and then just okay I gotta leave you alone you gotta me leave me alone and and with you like the way we chilled was so often you're like no 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 I don't want to hear this I don't want to watch this I want to watch something crowning. I want to do something crowning. And and like you got me so inspired by like, yeah, how good can you actually feel in your body? It's all about like when you love yourself and that's the first step in all of that. And that's what it always comes down to. You want to feel good all the way. Like I, 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 I cannot listen to music that has waking up lyrics mostly because it's, you know, I'm already awake, but I used to, Often for others and that I'm like no no no. Um, so yeah, but then. Um, <laughs> but then, bum bum bum. Um, do do. Like your emotions are so strong, and you are the first person I cannot shut down, in the way of like I can only. I create my own reality. I can only feel my energy, and uh, and if other people want to suck on it or anything or train it, I I I have to allow that. And often, it's just easier to get out of situations because it's tiring to like keep your energy to yourself if people want to suck on it. But at the end, it's always you who allows that. But with you, even if I'm not around you or we didn't, talk, I, I can feel you. Like I can feel you all the time. And it's like whatever I do, it doesn't go away. And I never had this depth of emotions where it's just, it's whatever I do, I'm just like, yeah, I'm at the gym and I'm like, yeah, everything is fine. Everything is perfect. Yeah, it is, but it, uh, uh, this, like this, and it doesn't go away. And when I go here, it's still there. And when I go there, it's, it's everywhere. It's, it's in me and it doesn't go away. And that's why I was like a bit too much in wanting to help you fixing mode. Because I'm like, I want Just this. Just let everyone know, I was having a very emotional day yesterday where I was like, we could call it in human terms, a negative emotional day. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Totally. Because there's no value judgment yeah. or right or wrong, but there is positive and negative. And mm. negative emotions don't feel good. And it's, it's not that it's bad or worse. And there's so much we can learn from it. But when they stick around and when they're so strong... It doesn't feel good in my body mm -hmm. and it's 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 not going away and it's like i can so i think maybe i misunderstood what you said earlier but you were saying 
Do people suck on your energy? Or when they try to, you just leave, is what you mean. Like when people try and suck on you. That before you, yeah. with everyone, I could shut them, I, I could kind of shut them off. Okay. That I, I, I can choose that it doesn't affect me. Like I can, um, um, and often I make it easier by not being around them. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, now the food is there. So you keep talking? Yeah, I'll keep talking. Um, Freddy is going to get our food order. So I will tell a, a little story about him while we're gone. I love this man so much. And the thing that he was just talking about about the emotions is like, I am very comfortable with going into what I would call like the deep waters, like if emotions are like this sea of waters and I l feel so comfortable like going deep into my emotions, like, deep into the sea of the ocean that are my emotions. And some of that is like a lot of darkness, you know, but through that darkness, if I allow my emotions to get really big and I just let them give them a lot of space then I'm able to go through them. And when they're given the space that they need without judgment and with a lot of love, then I'm able to release them. And through that release, I learn a lot about myself. Like that is my way of getting my downloads. And then if I'm able to be really soft with myself in that time period and not judge myself or rush my emotions or like try and force myself to be in my joy, if I just sit with it, and just give myself a lot of love and get cozy and, you know, like maybe light a candle and light some incense, play my favorite music or just watch some TV that feels good in my body or journal, like just really be with my emotions. Sometimes I'll just meditate and like cry a lot. <clears throat> then I'm able to come out the other end. It's like going through the tunnel and come out the other end to this really bright, like it's like me and my evolved state and an even deeper level. And I love that and I find that really beautiful. I also would love for th the process of the darkness that I'm going through to be less. Um, I, I want, I would love for it to be less like looping and like stuck. Like I want the process to keep going and I'm happy to go in and out. Um, but last night what I realized was that um, I had gone through all the process, learned all the things and then I was still a little bit stuck. And like sometimes I wonder if it's my stubbornness or if it's um, just wanting to feel safe in my body. And then um, I was reading a book about this. about ha I was just synchronistically reading a book about habits right before I fell asleep about how we can choose to change our habits or not. And then I just was like, no, I want to change this and be more connected to us. And this is something that we have on the mirror is about we put these little notes together. We wrote down all these things we want to remind each other of. And one of them that I really love is the one that says we are on the same team. And last night I wanted us to go to bed feeling like we both were on the same team. And that was really important for me. And I didn't know, like I didn't know how to do that at first. And then I read this book and I was like, Oh, some of this is just my programming. And then I'm like, okay, what's the opposite of my programming right now? Like if I felt really safe and I felt like we we're on the same team. What would I want to do? And then I was like, do you want to cuddle? And then we made love and it was really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then we both went to sleep. I mean, I will ask you how it was for you, but like I went to sleep feeling really connected and like l less, you know, I just felt grounded again. And I felt like, okay, I learned what I need to learn by going through this process and I come out the other end. And then today we were able to talk about it. We went for a nice cacao and we talked about it and I love at the end of these conversations because you're always like I feel like we figured everything out like we know what everything like what else is there to talk about like we've under we understand the whole universe I'm like yes until next time <laughs> but I feel like we learned some stuff by talking about it today which was like to next time I'm in my deep emotions to give me maybe actually physically separate and like do our best to tell each other we're, we're connected it's just that sometimes I just need to have complete space because right now we're in a living situation where we're sharing a very small one bedroom place together, which is beautiful. The universe wants us to work out all these things, um, but maybe give myself more space next time. I was just talking to them about what happened yesterday. 
how was it for you like when we connect reconnected last or anything you want to say um that th- um um this that we it's so nice that we figure it out that like when i was at daily devi like of course there are still gonna be challenges and mm. there's still so much otherwise we wouldn't be here anymore we would like quote unquote die go to spirit mm. and then but it's it's always it's always continuing you never know it all you only know what you need to know and that you know all and it's always about becoming and challenges are so nice so i know there's so much for us to come but i we figured out that like now we figured it all out what whatever we got whatever came at us we looked at it we investigated we squeezed it even out that we learned everything from that so it could go away and then many people they are not at that point that there's it just keeps piling on Mm. and they're like i just don't look at it i i I look here i distract my and it it doesn't go away because it's there for a reason there are no accidents it all comes for a reason and until you look at it and learn from when you learn from it's your higher self here because it's all there so we're singing each other home and through these challenges we grow it's always the discovery the journey the process and and there's something I can learn from. And it's there for a reason. This is the most important thing. And many people, I say, looping when they don't look at it. Mm. And then they just feel weird for weeks go by. And it's it's still there. It's just, but it keeps like, I, I got used to this. And then this comes and this. And then until like really shit happens. So they're in the hospital dying. So they really have to look at it. Like that's why I'm so thankful because I had to look at it all. Over a year, my higher self was like, okay, Fed, you, you keep dying. You got to look at this and now really at this and now really at this. Like you, you really have to look at all of that. And we always get to this fresh point of something comes. We don't distract ourselves and we keep having something for a week and it's just not nice. No, when something comes, all we do is this. And then we we journal, we think, we come back, we share, we and we grow and we level up, level up, level up, and it feels less and less painful and more and more exciting mm. even during those times. And that we're shifting to where there is no more pain and resistance because we learned it in these painful ways, and that's that's like what we're teaching. When people are out there saying Oh, you gotta grind, it's it's rough, it's da da da, it's pain like yeah get in touch with your belief system like why would you you know mm-hmm. and and when you get to a point where ah it can be these challenging yes they are exciting but suffering no pain no and where we're getting at it's it's like even those time become less painful and way more exciting yeah the we're coming to the part where we're actually living the experience of we can grow and evolve our consciousness in a way that feels really good in our bodies. It doesn't have to hurt in order for us to grow and learn. And we can keep up leveling in a really beautiful way. And that doesn't mean that we're not going to have emotions that sometimes could be quote unquote negative, but it just means that we're, we will not get lost in them. And even to a point where we're excited about that it's mm. coming, like, whoa, mm. finally something where we can learn from. Finally, those emotions again, w- but always knowing, like, the structure of existence, the knowingness of it's here for a reason. What can I learn out of this? This this is nice to feel it, but it's it's the experience, and the experience is based on the structure of how existence reality works, and this will never change. And it's nice to experience these things, but it's we're not lost in it or anything and mm-hmm. it's getting to the point where it's like yeah exciting what what w- what can we look at next because it ki- it's so exciting because it feels like like as i said i don't anything comes to my mind what we haven't looked at mm. and that's what i mean like most people out there they t- they don't touch many subjects at all they or they avoid certain things but it's eventually you know and we like from our first DMT t- uh, MDMA trip together. <laughs> DMT, all the things. All the things. <laughs> we, you know, we talked about money. We talked. We mm-hmm. talked about everything from the heart, straight up. Mm-hmm. And now it's always this point. Like now, I'm like, what could possibly come? And then only really exciting things come to my mind, mm-hmm. like out of this world things. Where like, yeah, of course, because we haven't experienced it yet. Yeah, of course, we're gonna adjust to that. But it's like, it's like 
excitement. I want these challenges. But these human things, I'm like, we kind of we kinda got them all and we, we're not looping at them. We get through them. Um, yeah, I, I think it's good to share with people that... I, I, I love what the, the illustration you're saying. It's basically like, there's the stuff that comes up and then like we clear it out. Whereas like most people just keep stacking more things, more things, more things. And then they either have a big blow up or someone breaks, you know, breaks up with the other person, but they're not actually like growing in their evolution of their consciousness. And we're just like, okay, what do we need to look at? And, and thus they experience more and more pain, mm -hmm. pain, resistance, like pain is my friend. Pain is like, Hey, Hey, you, you're swimming, swimming against the stream. Why don't mm -hmm. you go with the flow? This is the way. Mm -hmm. Like this is the following your excitement is the way of least resistance. It's like mm -hmm. this is who you are, and then people keep stacking things up and then they they distract themselves. But it's like this, oh, oh, oh. When the distraction is gone, like oh, and then and then if they keep doing it, this injury, this happened in my life, like mm -hmm. bam. So yeah. Yeah. So instead of why is this happening to me, we can ask ourselves, how is this happening for me? Because our higher self is always guiding us and we can choose to experience it in a gentle way. And if we don't listen, it's going to keep giving this to us in more and more harsher ways, quote unquote, so that we can wake up to whatever we're trying to learn. But I wanted to quickly talk, yes. oh, not quickly, I wanted to talk about um the MDMA trip because some people who have are listening to me now have never listened to your podcast. If you don't know, Faraday has a really amazing podcast called V Gains, and I'm on his podcast. V Gains podcast. V kind, sorry, V Gains podcast. Just giving a little plug for your podcast, Thank babe. You. I want everyone to listen Thank and you. follow. It's kind of our podcast. Yeah. So now we do a lot of them together. But now you start doing your own English ones again. Or English. So those are all of yes. them are amazing. One of them, when we first got together, we shared very deeply about us taking MDMA, like right after we got together. Like we'd known each other for about six months. And then we started dating. And then, was it two weeks after we started dating? We took MDMA or very a week, mm -hmm. very short in the timeline in the linear time. And we wrote down questions we wanted to ask each other. And then we made it really cozy and safe. We took MDMA at home and I even had like music prepped that I wanted to listen to. And then we just sat and cuddled for like 12 hours and talked to each other uh, while on MDMA, which was like, like this is what you're saying. We just got all of it out. And I feel like everyone if they feel safe in their bodies to take mdma and to do it with their partner i feel like this is really amazing permission slip to like get closer to your partner because you feel so safe and so full of love when you're on that and then it's such an amazing time to talk about a lot of things that maybe you'd be insecure about before and funny enough not funny enough i mean we're not surprised but like so many of our friends since listening to our experience have decided to take it with their partner and a lot of them it was their first time taking MDMA and I just love that they're using this as a permission slip to like do it in a really safe way and be do all the prep and like you know get everything be cozy and then like write down questions that you want to ask each other hold hands hold hands yeah we had this thing where organically we just didn't want to we wanted to completely be touching the whole time on our trip. And so even when we went to the bathroom, we had to hold, we decided. You taught me that. I, I don't know. I was just like, I don't want to not touch you. And so I was like, will you hold my hand while I pee? And we just like held hands for like 12 hours or we're touching in some way for 12 hours. And then, and then now we, we refer to that a lot, like um, a lot of different parts of our first MDMA trip because it really set the foundation for our whole relationship and I felt so safe and so loved and I loved you and I feel for both of us it was like a really beautiful way to like first express our love for each other because I already had loved you for like many months and and I felt like it was one of the first times where I felt it back like in a really open way like you felt safe to share that back with me and I of course loved that so yeah, just letting people know about that. If they want to listen to more in depth about that, they can listen to our podcast where we talk about. Yes, the best day of my life. <laughs> taking him to me together. Um, another thing I wanted to share on here because a lot of um, a lot of my journey recently has been 
to like I figured out how to be fully expressive in my power and as an individual and also as a woman like while I've been alone like as a single person and now I am navigating how to be fully in my power as someone in partnership with I totally manifested you and was like I want someone who's on my level and like my match and who's just like me but a guy but you know of course like as an individual and does their own thing and then I met you and you really are so much like me when it comes to all things and then I realized recently that I have a lot of I still like there's so many levels to that shit Mm-hmm. of programming that we have as a society and especially for women like the other day when I was sick I've been sick this last week and um I was just super in the spirit world and then like intuitively I was like looking up all of these w- movies about women empowerment and I was it was just really hitting me like how much it's only recently in the last 50 to 100 years where women have gotten their rights to like vote and to work outside the house and to have any sort of equal rights to men and it's been like many hundreds of years before that where men didn't like that where it wasn't equal and for me having my dad growing up who was very chauvinistic and like he was very abusive and really negative towards women and then having my religion which was like literally women don't have rights and then being in a law firm where I was like the only woman like working in the law firm for six years where I was the only woman and it was very yeah it's just a lot there's a lot a lot a lot and then coming to you and then you're like I support you. You're amazing. And blah, blah, blah. and then realizing, okay, because I have an external reflection of someone who is very supportive and really actually has my back, it's making me realize how much programming I have around making myself small in relationships. And, and also like, yeah, just taking up space. I think, I don't know how else to just say that, but like just taking up space with my emotions, with what I want, with what I feel is good. And you're always asking me, it's not, it's not you, it's me in a lot of these ways. And I just wanted to like speak that out into the world. Cause I know a lot of women are also going through a similar thing because it's so, it's such a big, I would say accomplishment to be a woman in this timeline and to be fully in your power and to be fully expressive of your power and then I feel like it's like the next step of that evolution is to be able to be in partnership and also be fully in your power and like we were asking each other this like who else is like us out there and I'm like Beyonce and (laughs) Jay-Z like you know like there isn't that many but then I really think of Beyonce a lot because she's really cool and she's just turns everything into art and always expressing herself and just takes no shit from anyone yeah, I just wanted to speak that into the the vortex. Do you have any thoughts on that? Beautifully said. Beautifully said. I love it. I love it all. That's why I'm so happy you're you're out there now showing your light mm-hmm. because you embody that and and this is this is so refreshing. This is so beautiful. And that's why not that's why but that's also why I'm so encouraging like the, the, our course it mm-hmm. could be that we no i want you because i want like you how you say it and and a woman like why why should another man make this course and how you like you are even more powerful in that you are less misunderstood than me and um you're like <laughs> how the message is trans, trans delivered in this in the soft way in this like you how your frequency it's it's like mm, it's so soothing and uh, you know like i love bashar so 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 much but listening to a lot of bashar eventually is sometimes a bit well i take it back but i love bashar a lot and i love his voice everything like but his er, his earlier channeling if you he, don't he, know what bashar is it's someone who is channeling an alien and he they were anchor he channels Daryl. him for 40 years yes. and his earlier channel years mm-hmm. where he got used to this high frequency he was more like like this sorry i just had to so people I understand pff, so I really yeah, yeah. Don't like that. and it, it and it is great for waking people up mm-hmm. and how he now is i'm like loving it because it's mm-hmm. he's also soft and and um 
but like a lot voice. of the messages out there are very in the masculine yes yeah and and and, and it's a time where we can all feel soft and mm -hmm. safe and and we can wake up in a soft and safe way mm -hmm. like often people had to wake up in this because otherwise they just didn't get it because our system keeps you so in it and if you're not all like most people who really woke up something something big happened mm -hmm. you know like they were almost dying they lost someone they had an accident they were bankrupt da, 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 it's they, like really traumatic yeah so otherwise you're so I dense in the system mm -hmm. but now people are not even like all these kids they're not even getting in the system they're not even experiencing a nine to five it's 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 like how jenny says it it's not how can we escape like now it's not how can they escape the nine to five how can we not even get into it mm. and then they're like they're they they didn't suppress their sensitivity so much so they're like why can i not learn it all in a soft way and yes you are amazing thank you babe i think that's that what you just said is super important is that in the past, I have been very fully expressive in my power. But when I look at videos of myself, like my old YouTube videos, when I was like traveling around, making this YouTube series about me traveling. Bopping around. Bopping around. And I was, I can't even watch those videos anymore because I was so in my masculine. And I felt that's at the time, that's what I needed to do in order to feel safe with putting myself out there. And this is what I was like kind of asking myself the other day. I'm like, wh who are there women out there that are leaders in the world and really expressing themselves and also being very soft and like being in their feminine? Because the, the, the strong woman I see out there, most of them who I see are mm -hmm. so in the masculine mm -hmm. because they, the, the, the world, we're, we're in a man, man made world. Like we even call it mankind. It's, you know, yeah. and woman kind. And so that women independently make it, they need to be in the masculine. Like if like the alchemist, she's a great woman, mm -hmm. but in order to make all her YouTube videos and everything, yeah. she just needs to like this hustle mode and she's like waking people up like crazy. I love her, but a lot of that is in her masculinity. Mm -hmm. And and that's why I'm like, guys, go out and support your woman that they can be in the feminine mm -hmm. and shine and it's yeah so th this is i feel like this is the true power of a woman when when she when she is herself and finds someone where she can be in her feminine mm -hmm. and ex and and like how you like all your sayings i love them like i refuse to shout to be heard mm -hmm. and this is this is like yeah let's let's create a uh just another not mankind but a female kind humankind humankind yeah and it feels like women are ahead it feels like women are i mean just give you a little tip we are <laughs> i mean look at a penis and look at a vagina <laughs> you know like your ways of receiving pleasure is like a million folds than a penis mm -hmm. it's so this is scientifically proven yes and then like the depths of how women feel emotion so much more mm -hmm. this is a superpower how mm -hmm. much more sensitive they are all these things but then we build this world where you know and let's let's fuck the system let's transform it and power to everyone and and let the woman shine and then see how like imagine the world we shift into where women like girls that are born never get into this system where we're now being mm -hmm. so suppressed blah blah bullshit but fully stepping in their power and then like yeah i want leaders that are like equally women and men but i want to see all the women shine you know mm -hmm. like i want all the women to you know to yes yeah and I want to just say that I don't think there's anything wrong with a woman. Like I sometimes am in my mask and like I can go and get things done. Totally amazing. But what I feel is that there is a big part of me that wants to be like, I feel this inner urge to be more soft and to s have that be shown in my public life more. And I've talked to a lot of my girlfriends and they feel the same way. Like I was talking to Jasmine and my, one of my best friends yesterday about it. And she's like, yeah, it's so, for her, it's so scary to put herself out there. And 
I was asking her why. And she's like, I, I don't know. There's just like this deep feeling of un being, it's unsafe. It's unsafe for me to share things online. And it's unsafe for me to be seen. And I, I think a lot of this is programming that we have or this and that, but I am, I'm like happy to be someone who can be a leader in the fact that we can thrive while we're being soft and we can get just as much done while being in our feminine Amen, sister. <laughs> and uh, what I wanted to clarify is yeah. I'm not saying, probably it's a du stupid disclaimer, but I just yeah. want to talk about it, that like, you know, like women are good, men are bad, like women are superior, like no, no, no. But it's, it's, like, it's like all equal, mm -hmm. but the world we're living in, women are greatly suppressed, sometimes more, sometimes less, sometimes like crazy. Like crazy, where I'm like, wow, mm -hmm. where I just want to get the dragon out and, out and be like, justice. Mm -hmm. And justice is not punishment, justice is realization that you make people realize, oh, yeah, this is fucked up, let's change it. Like, we got rid of slavery in many places, we got rid of that women are now allowed to vo vote. Like, so many things they were so, and, and but they're still, and all I'm saying is, power to all beings and equal, like, and, and then. And, th and that's why to all the men out there, as a man like me, it is easier many ways. And then this is my superpower to support women. Mm -hmm. Like, and I encourage all the men out there to do the same. And this is like when you're truly listening to your excitement, it's, it's always coming to the same things. And it's like, it's like, that it's all equal, that it's like fair, all of this, and, and that we see like how I fight for animals and all of that. Mm -hmm. And so all the guys out there use your, that is all easier. Privilege. Yeah. I know that word gets overused, but that's what it is. I don't, I don't like the word privilege. Okay, use but, whatever. Um, that you, however you want to use it, yeah. And, and follow your excitement comes back to when you really tune into your excitement, we're all... And it's something you said way earlier of um, like um, that we, you know, like I, I learn things from you, you learn things from me, but we, we are individuals and we don't have the, the same life theme. You have your life theme, I have my life theme, but we together have a life theme together where mm -hmm. it's complete when we're like, this is so much more fun. No one really has a life theme where I don't need anyone. I can just do my thing and no, no, we all have a galactic, cosmic life theme. And this is so fun that it's each other and we're all this puzzle piece and we, we need everyone. Like creation doesn't make meaningless mistakes. If you exist, this is proof that you're worthy. You don't need to do anything. Mm -hmm. If you exist, creation doesn't make meaningless mistakes. You belong. You belong. You're part of this. And all of us, we have this galactic, cosmic life theme, however you want to call it. The hybrid children are going to come. We become the six hybrid race. Da, 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 da. The new earth. Bam. And like us together, we, like I, like we, this is, this is the direction we're walking. And for our life theme is that we find each other on this point where we are authentic selves and walk from this point on next to each other and, and lead it as being really ahead. Mm -hmm. And this is not no value judgment. That's just like we're really ahead in our way of consciousness to be walking symbols mm. that other people can see if they can do it we can do it because they're already there and that feels really good like it's really challenging to rise up alone and we did because we were like we cannot stand up for ourselves and stand up for others we just cannot help ourselves we want to be of service we want to be us and we don't want to do any of that bullshit which most people do because they don't want to be alone and i'm like i'm rather fucking alone i'm rather being hated as as for but I, I am myself and I stay that and I keep da 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 and so we're here, out here. We're out here. Yeah, I wanna say that as a woman Yes. Whenever people are asking me like would you do you think like men are bad or this and that? I'm always like, what are you talking about? Like we are all humans here and most of the men today are actually trying to be quote unquote good men and they don't even know their place anymore because we are born into a system that has gone so far in the wrong direction 
and people are really evolving their consciousness very quickly on our timeline and they're trying to figure out how to do things better and all we can do is like you're saying like look at it like we're standing side by side holding hands going forward together like as people as consciousness and how can we do our best to empower each other and yeah. I, w I wouldn't say wrong though you know like uh, i wouldn't i'm not set up uh, uh, that so you said our system is going in the wrong it's just okay. i know i know i know yeah. but it's just right or wrong is this like yeah. and, and like quick explanation again because so often that's how i so often get misunderstood that people think what i'm saying there's a value judgment and there is there is no right or wrong better it's it's just it is what it is and like i, I like how Bashar uses it's positive or negative these are certain mm -hmm. frequencies like positive energy integrates like expands grows upward spiral mm -hmm. like unites connects a negative frequency separates disconnects disconnects mm -hmm. is uh separating yeah uh, and as consciousness we have been exploring the idea of separation for read the new metaphysics yeah. from bashar channel before we were most of us all were born mm -hmm. and it's like if you can handle it write me a dm i'm gonna send you the pdf and we explore it because we can because we can otherwise we wouldn't be god we wouldn't be all it is if we would limit ourselves so And then, uh, like the Atlantean times, like, let's explore separation. How deep can we go? And we went to the extreme, extreme, extreme. Like, this uh, this is so much. Like, look, look, World War II, look, all that shit. Like, we were so disconnected, so separated. We created the system. How separated can we actually be? And now, okay, we've done that. We've played that out. Let's now, the transformational age, find back from soar to source, the classical life theme, from darkness to light. But getting the bigger picture that it's like reality is a projection of our consciousness it isn't real but the experience is real but we're all coming home it's just we are all in spirits right now and i know how tough it often is to like seeing a tree being killed in front of you oh my god i hate it so much but then knowing the bigger picture that it's a projection of my consciousness the the the, the pachamama is always here will never die and we like you understand shifting and the multiverse that it's keeps yeah but i know should i stop no i just like from an emotional me being the earth in this RC i know ball, like for me that like sometimes when i see people cutting down trees especially these big old i know old i'm not disconnecting trees, from it i just cry i get so upset i know and that's why i talk to pachamama every day every morning i go to nature I, i talk to i talk to her and i be like i am your caretaker i'm gonna protect you mm -hmm. in the world i'm gonna shift i'm gonna be so grateful for how you're gonna thrive and i not take it for granted i appreciate it and i'm gonna protect you mm -hmm. i am protecting you and i'm out here doing the best i can and when i see things like that i see it for a reason to be so fueled purpose driven to change it to yeah. not get any more animals slaughtered not another plastic thing produced not another tree cut down finding these technologies that clean up our planet that are smart that are hand in hand in the symbiotic relationship of ai which is not artificial and this nano class where we can use it for in harmony and and it's just all thriving and i'm like yes nature i'm here i'm your caretaker and i'm gonna hug a tree if i see it i'm gonna sp educate people about veganism like uh, this is me because I, I i and it's it's us the people and so yeah and it's about doing the best we can yeah and, and I oh. relax relax you wanna uh, no relax like seeing the bigger picture uh, yeah. like this is this is this is what helps me a lot Like back then, veganism, it so got to me. Like when you really get veganism, like it's waking into a nightmare. Mm -hmm. When you see like slaughterhouses, factory farms, the, um, like this Holocaust, the biggest Holocaust, it's just happening right now. Millions of animals, all throat slits. And it's like, ah, and then, whew, okay, seeing the bigger picture, we're all coming home. This is, we're indestructible souls. There is no dying, there is no dead. If you exist, you will always exist. Like all this, I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah. This, oh, okay, this really keeps me balanced and grounded and 
peaceful. Yeah, and I want to speak to the fact that people were reaching out to me and just talking about how they, f like we talk about feeling alien and I think a lot of people are very much waking up to, they're, they're awake and now they're coming to their bodies for the first time. And when you come into their bodies for the first time as an awake person, you become so sensitive to everything around you, especially all of the disharmony in the world. And also maybe you don't have the tools yet to deal with it. You're like just barely figuring it out and then things just become really overwhelming. And I just want to say that you are not alone. Like Faraday and I are here. This is why we feel so excited to uh, make content and just share our vibration with all of you because we believe that whoever is listening to this, you are part of our tribe in some way and you are meant to do something bigger. Like this is why we keep talking to each other all day long about like, okay, we, we are here to do something really big in the world because... <laughs> otherwise why would be we be so awake and so embodied and have met each other right now and just like we just have so much energy to give and we want to help and give back and create something really beautiful and new in the world and i would just want to give everyone that vibration too it's like if you're resonating with this and you're really feeling this and you're feeling all of that all the things and you're like you want to help just like know that you're on the right track and it's all happening and we want it to happen in a way that feels good in our bodies. And Faraday and I sat down and we were like, how can we really help people the most? And this is what he was talking about earlier. It's like, well, we are actually making a course right now. And the New Earth Toolkit. Yeah. Um, I like to call it the New Earth Toolkit because basically we're building a new earth and what tools do you need in order to be a citizen of this new earth? Like what do you need to know about yourself? How do you want to be and what resources do you need? And so we are building this for you guys and we're so excited to share it. And I, we are doing it together, but I'm downloading it through my higher self and channeling it and Ferry and I are working on it together. Um, and it feels really fun to put it in the flavor of my feminine power. Um, and even in the way we're like organizing it and like today I was like okay I want this thing to come first like intuitively I want this like video to come first and then this one it just I'm so excited for all of it and um, really excited to be in my full health to like start pumping these out even more but all in flow and yeah I just want to give everyone a teaser that that's happening and I'm super excited and I'm really hungry right now my body says that I, I want to go eat our yummy food that's on the counter in there do you have any last words, my dear, before we wrap up? <sighs> this course is going <laughs> to change. <laughs> it's, you know, stay tuned. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's because it's, I love recently using this metaphor I came up with that I can mention this golden bowl, golden bowl, uh, ball, ball, golden ball in front of you like this this is the universal message this is this is it this is this is this is what Bashar talks about this is what all these teachers what Krishna Buddha Jesus God which is you like all that is this is all that is this is the universe this is structure of existence this is it and right now we're physical beings using words to describe this and and all the words I'm using is describing this and then I see people, like, you know, when people lead people and they don't get this, it's like the blind leading the blind. And then, like, it just goes often worse. And it's, like, out of this, outside of this ball. ball. And then when I hear people, you see through it, like, you want to hear, this is where we want to go. This, like, we want to get it. And in there, like, when we're all in there, it's like, vroom. And then we, but when people then outside that like why and then it's ah it's your limiting beliefs it's you want to sell this oh it's your ego it's the, like all these masks all these filters i'm like let's fuck all of that let's sing each other home and explore the cosmos i'm done with all the separation shit and and this course is this ball this Gold, is golden ball of light yes this is this is like you can cut all the bullshit like everything that's in this is this like this is the toolkit this is this is how schools are gonna be we're gonna learn structure of existence 
all of this mm -hmm. early on and when someone is, is out of alignment then they can go somewhere where they're back in alignment that things like what Putin is doing now and all these things they, they cannot ha happen because when someone is out of alignment we're like hey you're, you're, they go there and then we're back in alignment and it's like yeah of course I get structure of existence I get synchronicity I get like I am my authentic self I'm following my excitement this is me like I and it's just and there's none more of this shit like then we don't need we don't need any of like we don't need police we don't need any, we don't need money we don't need these uh, things because we are you know it's basically when you take this course it will help you to be your authentic self your authentic self and also be in the vibration that will align with the other people who are building this new earth it's it's all the same like it's all the ball it's, it's like being the same your authentic thing. self mm -hmm. loving yourself being worthy following your excitement like understanding structure of reality understanding permission slips like all of this is is this ball but also really amazing things like how to share with the world when you're your authentic self how do you process your trauma and honor it how do you take care of your body like these things that we all need to learn and make it fun yeah. make it fun and using fun permission slips yeah. and and not like i do this and and then what no like this the discovery the discovery it's it and and how what a better way than to do it with britney bond who has the soft voice and it's like oh she is my friend and she takes me along mm -hmm. and she teaches me and she went through it all she, like she knows what she's talking about she went to the darkness and all experienced all that shit out there to the max and transformed it into light and found the way and da 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 and, and like wow she i want to be taught by her in a fun way so she takes you along and this is fun like like for me listening to bashar it's this is fun bashar is my friend and it's like it's we, we're chilling you know we're just talking about the universe and stars and aliens and it's so fun mm -hmm. and you make it fun and we make it fun together, we make okay. it fun okay let's eat food yeah thank you guys for listening sending you lots of love and until next time bye